Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to build a Mad Libs game in Python. So a Mad Libs game is basically just a game where you can enter in a bunch of random words. So like, you know, verbs, nouns, names, colors, and you basically take all of those words and put them into a story randomly. So over here, I my web browser, I just have an example of a Mad Libs. So, you know, down here, we're basically just taking random words, like an adjective or a noun or a plural noun, and entering them in side of a story. So, like, you read through the story, and then, like, some random word pops up. And Mad Libs can be pretty fun, and I'm sure you guys have, you know, at least heard of Mad Libs before. But if not, that was just a little introduction. So I want to create a Mad Libs in Python, and this is going to be really cool. So down here, I have this, like, little poem. It just says... Roses are red, violets are blue, I love you. And so, you know, this is kind of like a classic poem, but I think we should mix it up a little bit and create a Mad Lib for this poem. And so instead of having this red color over here, I wanna have the user enter in their own color. Instead of having violets, why don't we have them enter in a plural noun? And instead of saying, I love you, why don't we have them say, I love, and then some celebrity, so celebrity. So this is the basic structure for our little Mad Lib, right? I want to basically have the user enter in a color, enter in a plural noun, and enter in a celebrity. And then I'll take all of those words and put them inside of our Mad Lib, and hopefully we end up with something that's pretty funny. So how can we actually go about building this in Python? Well, the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to be able to get these words from the user, right? That's pretty obvious. So I think what we should do is we should create three variables called color, plural noun, and celebrity, and we'll store the user's inputs inside of those variables. So up here, let's create those variables. The first variable I wanna create is gonna be called color. So we'll say color, and I wanna set this equal to the input. So I'm gonna say input, and inside of here, I'm just gonna give them a prompt. So I'll say enter a color, and we can basically just copy this line of code, and I'm gonna paste it down below, and we'll paste one more time. So now we're gonna create our plural noun variable. So I'll say P-L-U-R-A-O, plural noun, and we'll just say enter a plural noun. And actually over here, I wanna make a colon as well. So then finally, we'll create our celebrity variable and we'll say enter a celebrity. And so now basically we're creating three variables called color, plural noun, and celebrity. And inside of them, we're storing the color that the user enters, the plural noun the user enters, and the celebrity the user enters. So the last thing we have to do is replace these guys with those variables. So I'm basically just going to add in the color over here and we're gonna add in the plural noun. So I can just go like this. And finally, we'll just add in that celebrity. So now we have a pretty cool Mad Lib and it should be functional. Everything should work. It looks like it's good to go. So let's come over here and we'll run our program. And then down here in the console, we can play our little Mad Libs game. So let's say enter a color. I'm just gonna say magenta. Enter a plural noun. Why don't we say microwaves and enter a celebrity. Let's say Tom Hanks. So. When I click enter, what should happen is we should get our Mad Libs printed out. So I'm gonna click enter, and now we have our Mad Libs. So it says, roses are magenta, microwaves are blue, I love Tom Hanks. So it's a pretty good Mad Lib. And obviously, you know, the more the more print statements we put over here, you know, the better the Mad Lib could, could be. And we could store as many, you know, variables up here as we wanted. This was just a very simple Mad Lib. We only took in three inputs, but you know you can see how you could take something like this and create a little Mad Libs game. So your homework for this lesson is to go off and make your own Mad Libs game, hopefully one that's a little bit funnier than mine. Uh, but that's the basics of creating a Mad Libs game in Python. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.